Hi everyone. I'm going to be doing dips today. <clears throat> um, instead of adding the paint here and then dipping my, t <clears throat> my tile in it, I'm going to be doing it on another tile. So I'll end up with two tiles. Hopefully. So um, this is just a, I think they're a four by four, just regular tiles I've had sitting around. So I'm going to just do some dips. I'm going to use up my um, old paints that I've had for quite a while that don't work <clears throat> anymore for um, uh, creating cells with um, blooms or uh, swipes so I'm just I just want to use them all up so that I can start fresh with some new paint and dips are a great idea for this so I'm going to be spreading the paint on here with my comb because you only need a thin coat on the uh, base so uh, for the base I'm not using black or white I'm using a mixture of a bunch of paints that I have um, one of them Sapphire, TLP Sapphire. I've got a few Prussian Blues in here. Um, uh, Windsor Blue, I think, and maybe an Ultramarine. I mixed them all together. Um, where's my... It's kind of a nice, a nice color. So, I'm going to use this for the base. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use my other little comb. This one here, it's easier to move around. Okay, I am going to hmm. look at these little cups that I'm going to be adding my paint in and, and then I'm going to squeeze it and then just go around in a circle. It's a lot easier than using my stir stick to do it. And this color here that I'm starting with is um, Brilliant Magenta. It's a mixture of, uh, actually, it's Agapanthus TLP mixed with um, Windsor Violet. rich gold and there are two rich golds in here one is 
One is Atelier and the other is Josanya. I'm going to use um, a little bit of white, and it's uh, there's some pearl medium mixed in with this Vallejo pearl medium. So I'm just going to pour some of this in here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this tile and I'm going to put it right on top. Try to get it centered. I'm going to hold it because it usually slips a little bit. The paint's slippery and the tiles are slippery, so I just have to hold it a little bit. Press it down to make sure it's Con making contact with all the paint on the bottom. It's going to be tricky getting it up because there's I there's nothing holding the other tile down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to try and lift it up by its holding its. You get a bit of a suction. Oh, wow. That's cool. Never expected that. This is awfully thick on here, though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I like it. I just hope it dries well. Seeing as these paints are thick and there's more paint on here than there is on here. I wonder... If next time I do it, I'm going to try that. Um, once I put the tile on here, I'm going to turn it over and put it down and then lift. Maybe more of the paint will transfer on here. I'm just going to give it a torch to torch any air bubbles out. I have to be careful because i got a plastic on the bottom here. There's a couple of air bubbles. Okay, I'm just going to show you a close-up of this one. And I'm going to put it aside here. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll dry okay. The next one... I'm going to just touch up the sides. Oops. That's kind of different too. I'm getting more cells. Okay, let's put this aside. And I'm going to do two more, the same colors. The 
let's see if I have, what did I start with? Gold, I think. I might have enough in here. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I don't remember. I think it was gold. Magenta. Uh, pour a little bit more of this in here. Place it on top. Okay, so I am going to turn it over now and hopefully I won't screw it up. So now I'm going to lift it up. Okay, that's very cool. And I've got almost, almost equal paint on both. So that worked. I didn't get much white on here though. Looks kind of neat. Okay, I'm going to torch it. I got more cells with these two. then um, I'm done with these and uh, oh I wanted to show you something I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video um, my last video I did some dips and the paint was very 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 thick um, that I was using I thinned these down quite a bit um, they looked fine when they were wet, but when they dried, they cracked. 
Uh, it didn't dry very well at all. So um, what I did, I had the uh, I had the uh, skins dry on the plastic that I was using or the surface I was using and um, they ended up drying fine because there was less paint on there and they they looked even better than than what I dipped on than the uh, actual tile so just give me a second and I will show you Got to pick them up without getting my ink on, uh, without getting paint on them. I'll sort of take my gloves off, maybe. So what I did was I glued, I peeled the skins off of the plastic, and I glued them on new tiles, and they look quite nice. I haven't resined them yet. I have to wait for them to cure. So I just wanted to show you them. Okay. This one's pretty. And then this one. So they will look nice once they're resined. So that's it. I will let those dry and hopefully they'll dry well. I'll let you know uh, probably either in the end of this video or in my next video. Depends on what I do. Okay, okay. I'm back with the dried result. They dried really nice. No cracking, nice and flat. Not resin yet. But they will be. And last one. This one's my favorite. Okay. So, thank you for watching my video. Um, have a wonderful day, and uh, see you in my next one. Bye for now.